An outlaw, his headless body, and the stolen skull. Australian bushranger Ned Kelly needs no introduction. Convicted of murdering a police officer, he is hanged on the 11th of November, 1880. Notorious in life, little has changed for Ned in death. Ned's buried on the grounds of Melbourne Jail. 50 years later, his dark slumber is disturbed. Part of the prison is being demolished and dozens of graves need to be exhumed. As they're relocating the bones, mobs descend on Ned's gravesite. Everybody wants a piece of him. The public is so shocked by the grave robbing, an inquiry is launched along with a plea for the return of the stolen bones. Some bones are returned and reburied at a different prison. In unmarked graves. But still missing is Ned's head. Which somehow makes its way to Canberra and goes on public display. Ten years later, the head goes missing again and isn't discovered until the late 1960s when it's found inside an old safe in the same Canberra building. About 20 years later, the skull is sent back home to the old Melbourne jail, now a historical museum. The skull was its centrepiece with thousands of visitors coming to get a glimpse of Australian history. So popular that in 1978, the skull is stolen yet again. The rest of Ned's skeleton still lies in inner Melbourne. But 30 years on, a new development disrupts his slumber once more. Developers have to exhume and rebury the remains, but can't work out which is Ned's grave. Until they track down a distant relative of Ned and use DNA to successfully identify his bones. Minus the skull, of course. Over in Western Australia, a farmer hears this news and contacts the scientists because he's got Ned's head. He keeps it stored in a plastic container hidden in a log by his creek. The waterproof container keeps it safe when my property floods, which actually happens often. The farmer hands over the skull. The media attention Ned's head gets prompts more body parts to come out of the woodwork. My grandfather took this tooth from Ned's head way back in 1929. The tooth and skull are reunited. They're a perfect fit. But incredibly, the skull that had been stolen, displayed, lost, found, stolen, kept in a log and finally returned, is not Ned's head. Although DNA confirmed the bones as Ned's, the skull isn't a match. There were numerous theories as to what actually happened to Ned's head. It was stolen for a private collection. A Catholic priest secretly buried the head to save Ned's immortal soul. Whilst others believed simply that the skull was accidentally crushed in the 1929 excavations. The skull that had made the headlines seems to be that of Frederick Deeming, suspected of being England's most notorious murderer. Jack the Ripper. As for the whereabouts of Ned's head, the truth is, we'll probably never know. But as Ned said, such is life. <laughs>